I'm Tom from Do-It-Yourself Home Automation, and this is a look at installing the North Plant Sensor. And this is a really cool little device. It costs about $12. I got mine from Walmart, and it's one of the only plant sensors actually remaining on the market as of 2019. This was a really exciting category. People got really psyched about it about three years ago, and there were a lot of different companies getting into that part of the market, and really all of them have kind of faded and can't buy their sensors anymore, but this one is still available. And again, when I discovered it on Walmart's website for $12 per sensor, I was really excited because it says that the sensor will monitor uh, a lot of different things. It'll monitor the moisture level, the fertility level of the soil, light level, and also temperature. So you get a lot of data uh, for that $12 device. And it uses Bluetooth, so you can actually monitor that wirelessly from your phone uh, within their app. So again, quite a lot of capability for a pretty low price. And I wanted to test this out in my own smart garden and see how it works. So the sensor itself is really simple. It's this little dongle. Um, and it has a battery inside of it. So the first step to set it up is you just pop open this battery door and remove a little barrier. Uh, it has a battery preloaded and that battery is replaceable. So that's really helpful. Um, it's just a little button cell in there and you close the battery door again and that starts the sensor working. Now there's nothing on the sensor that I can see that actually indicates that it's working. So you do have to connect to the app in order to see the data. But what do we actually have on here? So it's got this uh, probe and it's got these little metal uh, contacts down at the bottom. I'm assuming that it's using those to monitor uh, the conduction of the soil and that's probably gonna tell it some things about the um, water level and possibly the fertility level. And then if we look at the top of the sensor, there's a little hole here. I'm assuming there's a thermistor, a little uh, resistance-based temperature sensor inside of there. And this is letting air flow into the inner chamber so that it can monitor temperature. And then it's got this clear window on the top. It's covered with uh, a clear plastic. So I'm assuming there's some kind of a light sensor, maybe just a simple photoresistor in there to get the light level. So a very simple sensor, again, for 12 bucks. Um, it's pretty good capabilities. And then there's presumably some kind of a low power Bluetooth chip in there to actually facilitate the connection to the app so you can monitor this data remotely. And installation, super simple. Here's my tomato plant that I'm gonna be monitoring in my smart garden. Here's the sensor. You just press it down into the soil next to the plant that you wanna be monitoring. So I'm gonna press that in and it sits down there. Um, I wouldn't spray it directly with water. I would try to kind of water around it if you're able to. I think it's fairly waterproof, but again, you know, for 12 bucks, uh, I wouldn't expect too much from it. And there it is next to the plant. So in some other videos, I'll show how to actually install the app and then how to get the data out of the sensor. We'll take a look at how accurate it is at actually tracking those metrics for your smart garden. If you found this helpful in any way, please subscribe to my channel, it really helps.